What's up everyone, it's John coming at you from Sneaky D's here in Toronto. Don't go away, tonight we are going to talk to glam rocker Jay Draper of Toronto's The Scarlet Fever. Put your eyeliner on, get your makeup ready, put on your black jeans, get your spikes, and come rock out with us. And we're back, John with the Disability Channel. We have the Scarlet Fever with us, Jay Draper. Amazing job. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, appreciate it. And Rob, pleasure to meet you. Please, you, you did an amazing job as well. Thank you. Thank you so much for the performance. This was wonderful. You guys totally crushed it. Thank you. So uh, we wanted to know, uh, first, first uh, to start off, how did you guys meet up? How did the, the Scarlet Fever form? Well, um, we... We met up in the early 2000s. Um, he was kind of working at a club called the Velvet Underground ah, yes. uh, that I was frequenting, and um, we just kind of hit it off. And he played guitar. I was looking for a guitar player, and uh, yeah, we uh, we ended up kind of um, working on some demos in my basement apartment for mm. quite a while, and um, just kind of, you know, shooting the shit. Just a chance encounter, yeah. which led to a band. Yeah, pretty much. Amazing. Much, and it was like 20 years ago almost. To yeah. The date, yeah, it's been a while. Wow, been well around, done. Been around uh, just grinding it in for, for years now. So. <laughs> yeah. No, and uh, I've, I've always wondered, like, for the, like, the glam rock genre, like, what got you into that? Like, more personally, like, uh, when did that start for you? Like, when you were younger, when you were a teenager? Yeah, when I was like 15, um, I got into David Bowie, obviously. Uh, my mom bought me Here Come the Warm Jets by Brian Eno, and um, I didn't like it at first. I was like, you know, I was into like Nirvana and, and uh, Nine Inch Nails and stuff, and I was like, what is this weird no, And then all the this stuff from the 70s, yeah. Yeah, and then the more I listened to it, the more I was like, no way, this is my favorite shit ever. Mm -hmm. and, and like me and Rob were both like heavily into like Pink Floyd and, and stuff like that. So. Oh yeah, and by the way, excellent job on that cover tonight. Thanks, yeah. That was beautiful. He's, uh, he's, he's always wanted to, to do a Floyd cover, so 
He's, uh, Set the controls for the heart of the sun. Just seemed like the right cover to take on the Absolutely. Line. So, yeah. We we Horse saw what was it like uh, the Nick Nick Mason, um, his kind of band. Yeah, they did. Uh, they did a show. Nick Mason, the drummer of Pink Floyd, did a show a couple years back. We saw it, and they do a version of that. And so we thought. I think we could do that. We can make it our own thing as well. So yeah. yeah, no, I thought it was really well done. And uh, I listened to your cover of Duran Duran's The Chauffeur uh, that you had recorded on the album. You didn't play it tonight, but I got a chance to hear it earlier, and I really loved that as well. Yeah. That was so very well favorite, done. Favorite of mine from, from Duran Duran, so I always wanted to do that. That's how I got started with anything glam rock related. It was when I got the DVD set for all of Duran Duran's best hits. Cool. and. Uh, just fell in love with them from that. Classic stuff. Yeah. That was my that was my teenage life. Duran Duran was oh, my yeah. well yeah for sure hundred so, <laughs> yeah. percent. No, I I loved them as well. One other thing, I was wondering back uh, a couple years ago we had the COVID nineteen pandemic. Yeah. How did that affect your band? Uh, well, it definitely put things on hold. We uh, we actually took two years off before that, and then got back together again did two shows and then the pandemic hit and we're like oh perfect we just actually, in time eh we actually had a horseshoe show booked for literally the day the pandemic became a thing yeah. oh, everyone yeah. was told to stay at home so that was the night our show was supposed to happen at the horseshoe so it was a it was like oh crap okay here we go and we were thinking <laughs> you know at that point you're, you're, you're innocent you're thinking two weeks you know maybe two weeks we're gonna be okay. figure it's gonna be delayed right but so anyway it was, yeah, it was, I, I it thought was, we were all gonna die so yeah. <laughs> oh, no no well. The, p the pessimist view, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, have you guys toured around uh, anywhere outside Toronto? Uh, we, we'd like to tour more, but we've we've done Montreal, um, Ottawa, London, mostly oh, mostly great. places close by. I would love to get a chance to tour in Montreal of all places. Montre Montreal is one of my favorite fun. places to play. I love Montreal. We've done it like three times now, I think. Love yeah. Montreal. I have a sort of a random question for you guys. Sure. What is the worst thing, in your opinion, about playing live music right now? Um, I don't. I mean, for me, it's just the, all the good kind of venue. I mean, like this was great. I imagine so the a venues. Lot, a lot of the good venues are closing down, so it's hard to find good venues with a good size stage and good sound that it, that is reliable. Um, you know, I don't want to name names, but yeah, there's there's good places and not so great places, and you kind of take. Take a gamble sometimes. So I, I guess when the monitors don't work on stage and you can't hear yourself for the entire set, so right, that makes it a challenge. What about you, Rob? I would say the same. I mean, it's just it's just dependent on on the venue, really. Yeah. Uh, tonight we had a we had pretty good sound. I thought the sound yeah. the sound person was great, so everything worked out. Uh, but it's always coming down to you know I think the pandemic really hurt Toronto and all cities. Yeah, no, I certainly noticed that too. And even before, it seemed like the venue scene and club scene was going through this transition, waning. Yeah, yeah, waning a bit. Yeah. Yeah, we might get a few new clubs, but uh, yeah. it feels like we're in this funny time. No, right I now, know so. there's there's a new one opening up. Um, someone we know, uh, Lloyd, goes by La DJ Lazarus. Oh, I know him. Yeah, he's he he's opening part. he's opening up a club at Queen and Dufferin, I want to say, called. Con uh, not maybe quite. Yeah, around there. Right, it's called con oh. uh, Ground Control. So. Oh, that's right in my neighborhood. Yeah, and I think there's going to be uh, live music and DJs and stuff, so it should be fun. Awesome. Let's see. Uh, what's the future look like for the Scarlet Fever? You guys have any plans, new albums you're recording, anything like that? We've been uh, working on a bunch of new songs. We played some of them tonight, and we're hoping maybe fall, maybe early winter, getting together and uh, recording as much as we can. Yeah. And hopefully by the new year, sometime in the early new year, a new album. It's my Great. Yeah. I'm really excited. It's been too long. Yeah, no, because I enjoyed Collider so much. I'm uh, looking forward to hearing some of your new stuff. Yeah, we're excited cool. to do it. Uh, where can people find you online? Where can people find your music? Well, we're, we're on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we got a band camp, so The Scarlet Fever, Scarlet with one T. Uh, one T. One yes. T, that's very important. There's, I think, a Scarlet Fever in Hamilton mm. with two T's. Yes. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot of Scarlet Fever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we've been, we, we were the first, though. The first. Yeah. The, as far as we can tell. Well, you can claim that. <laughs> but, uh, but check out Bandcamp. Uh, most of our stuff's up Bandcamp. on Bandcamp. And, yeah. Righto. Well, you, uh, thank you so much. This thank has you. been great. Thank you, John. We enjoyed the performance. Uh, thank you for coming. Best thank of you. luck to you. Appreciate it. Have yeah. a great night. Okay, this has been the Scarlet Fever from Toronto. And I'm John for the Disability Channel Today Show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again.